how to upload images to Shutterfly when on a slow internet connection. Step 1. Unplug the computer from the router. Reach behind the router and find the black cable. Right now, it is the second cable to the right. The first one is the power cable. The second one is the cable you're looking for. Grasp the cable with your thumb and pointer fingers. With your pointer finger, push the tab under the cable up and pull the cable out of the router. Let the cable rest behind the router while trying not to let it fall behind the desk. Step 2. Enable the personal hotspot on your cell phone. Your first step is to double click the home button. Now navigate to settings which is located on the fourth row in the fourth column. Select personal hotspot which is the fifth option in the list. Take note of your password because you will need this later. Toggle the switch next to the words personal hotspot to on. It will move and turn green. I cannot show you this step because this would disconnect the phone from the Wi-Fi network and make screen recording difficult if not impossible. Lock your phone to save battery life. Step 3. Connect your computer to the internet via your cell phone's data connection. To connect your computer to your cell phone, go down to the network icon in the lower right hand corner of your screen and click it. Click on your cell phone's hotspot name and click Connect. Enter your password, then click Next. Wait for your computer to connect to your cell phone. Once connected, click out of the menu. You are now connected to the internet via your cell phone's data connection. Step 4. Upload your images to Shutterfly. First, open your browser. Second, navigate to Shutterfly.com. Click Sign In. Enter your email address, which is already there, and then your password. Click Sign In. Click My Photos. From this point, you can upload however you would normally upload your images. I created an album for this project, so I will click Albums and then select the project album to upload the files. The files should upload, but we're going to double check to make sure the images uploaded successfully. And they did. To sign out of Shutterfly, click on your name, and then click Sign Out. Finally, close your browser window. Step 5. Disconnect your computer from your cell phone. To disconnect your computer from your cell phone's data connection, go down to the network icon and click it. Select your cell phone's network and click Disconnect and click out of the menu. You are now disconnected from your cell phone. Step 5. Disable the personal hotspot on your cell phone. First, assuming you have not touched your phone since you locked it when enabling your hotspot, double click your home button. On the personal hotspot page, toggle the switch to the off position. It will move and turn gray. To return to the main settings page, tap the settings button in the top left of your screen. To return to the home screen, click the home button. Finally, lock your phone. Step 7. Plug the computer into the router. To reconnect the computer to your home network, find the black cable that is behind the router. Grasp the cable and push it into the first port to the right of the power cable. This is simple but could take a few seconds. Make sure the cable clicks into place. Verify you are online by looking for the icon of a computer in between the volume and carbonite icons. If you see this, you have successfully reconnected to the internet. 